Hey, Vash here. Thank you for joining my community. We are now at 48,732 subscribers, so hit that sub button, smash that like, and let's jump right in. Today, we have an incredible video for you guys. Meeks was checking out some Save the World of videos, and she came across a video created by another great content creator, Mitch Robs. He teamed up with Kippers to do a challenge video where, as a two-man team, they attempt the Storm King, but without killing a single mini boss impossible right all right so before mitch jumps into the video he showcases the loadouts that he and kip are using it's awesome to see that even after all this time lynx is still one of the top mythic storm king killers kip is rocking lynx with a totally rocking out crit build loaded with launcher damage, hardware damage, and bonus armor. Mitch is running a solid blast to the past war cry loadout with the same skills. These are some pretty basic builds though for such an insane challenge. Can they really two man this while burning in the storm the entire time? Well, I guess we'll find out. Bro, is he running with an armor baron? Oh my god. I haven't seen someone use one of these in ages. I find that absolutely fascinating, and I wonder how big of an impact that's going to have on his victory. I see he's running with a triple crit damage Storm King hammer at 144, and his main weapon is going to be a 144 fire rate mythic launcher. I find this really interesting because I usually run mine with damage over fire rate. He's also running with two pre-built 144 sci-fi launchers, which he will definitely be using for the final push against the Storm King once the horns are down. Looks like he's starting out with a pre-edit for his wall archways. Oh wow, Kippers already has 22 wafers from the opening room. Mitch starts out by hitting the jump pads to start from the backside of the Storm King. Looks like they are using the anchor strategy, running a second floor all the way around the Storm King so that it doesn't get destroyed by the Storm King shockwaves. And the Storm King is loading up a laser blast and Mitch with a clutch leaping dodge, now building back up to high ground and the crystal pops and Mitch is wasting no time with his shots three quick pops and wham that crystal is down not wasting any time now mitch is building his bridge to connect to the outside anchor points but now it starts to get scary he's taking damage from the storm he's down to 25 percent health and he gets that healing pad down for the save now he's placing extra healing pads to get back up to 100 percent and a quick snapshot helping kippers and getting that last hit on the crystal Holy crap, look how many stacks of healing straps he has pre-built. Almost 1,400. Damn! Three super fast, dead accurate shots on the crystal and another one down. Looks like Mish wants to put some distance between him and those mobs, building up one layer higher, doing an excellent job of riding right on the edge of the storm zone, staying in the safe zone, away from the constant burn, and threading the needle with three fast shots right under his arm and another crystal is down and oh no the storm king knocks mitch into the acid he's losing health and it looks like he's done no right in the nick of time mitch dropping a healing pad he's burning but working his way back up to high ground and jumping to get a better position Kipper is taking down the crystal on the far side. The Storm King is down. Mitch wasting no time building up to get high ground to find that horn. Mitch hitting that war cry and Kip popping his kunai for the bonus damage, laying the damage hard and wham, the horn is down. These guys are putting on a Storm King clinic right now, absolutely clutching when the pressure is on. Mitch now moving back down to the safety of the anchor. Oh, a nice charge shot to smash through those enemy shields. Looks like Mitch doesn't have an angle on the crystal and Kippers with clutch shots taking it down on the far side. Mitch now moving back up to high ground he's placing heel traps and looking for the shot his health is too low and he's going to die and oh my god that clutch last second heal holy crap let's roll that back look at that insane clutch heal he was dead meat and right when i thought he was done he pulls himself out now laying down mad healing pads to stay alive dodging right around that mini boss like he's nothing lucky for him that's not a vortex or damage pulse mini boss or he'd be in all kinds of trouble a mitch jumped 
off the anchor to sink a shot into the crystal to help Kippers get that one down. Moving back up to the anchor using the horde of healing, but even that not being enough, Mitch is dropping healing pads as fast as he can. And there's the next crystal, this time on the arm. Three fast rips with the big crit finish. And another crystal is down for the count. The storm is tearing Mitch up now. He's dropping pads as fast as he can while simultaneously tries to repair and reconnect the laser damage to the anchor bridge. Mitch now building around the outside, now just trying to survive while he waits for that crystal to pop. They are getting close to the end now. Look at the insane amount of healing pads now. This build and strategy is crazy. They only have a couple more cycles to go and then they will have to deal with the final horn before taking on the big man himself. But there's been so many close calls. Will they even make it that far? And do they have enough firepower to beat the king? with a clutch critical hit. All right, it's time for the final horn. Will they get it? Kipper's totally missing his kunai and Mitch popping his last core war cry. I thought it might be close with that missed kunai, but the horde is down with time to spare. And if we roll that back, we can see that Mitch has an infatuated fangirl chasing for his autograph. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. We are down to the final showdown with both horns down. Can Kip and Mitch Take this big freak down. Here is the spin. Oh no, he's in the acid. Is it over? Oh my god, how is he not dead? Oh my god, Mitch somehow pulling his butt out of certain death. He is. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! He is for sure praising the power of the blast of the past rage now, which just pulled him from the fire. And we are right down to the final push. Healing pads and launcher spam, baby. Let's go! Oh, Holy crap, what a freaky run. Oh my God. All right, guys, the Ashes of Creation non-NDA Alpha 1 is happening July 14th until August 13th. And we will for sure be taking part and have some videos coming up for you guys. If you guys are Team Vash, come and join our Discord community at discord.gg slash Team Vash. And as always, come support our daily streams on Twitch. Huge shout out to Mitch and Kippers for putting on such a show. Go check out Mitch's channel and show some love for the content creator still cranking out content for this great game. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah. <laughs>